Hello everybody and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode we uh, did a bounty with uh, Miss Adler, Sadie. Uh, met a new gang called the Skinner Brothers on the way into Blackwater. And uh, we've got ourselves a tentative okay for a loan. We're heading out to the Beecher's Hope property to actually see what it looks like and uh, clear some squatters off there. We also got ourselves a bounty. So we're going to try and make a little bit of money uh, by doing a bit of a bounty uh, on the Skinner Brothers. So that's something. Alright. So it is night. Heading out at night to Beecher's Hope. I think I see the entrance. Once we get this done, we can also go ahead and not too far out and go and get that bounty. Saddle. Okay. Old property. Fences need to be redone. And if it's if it, if it is past 1901, I think barbed wire exists now, so we also should probably put up barbed wire fences instead of just standard uh, wood fence. Easy now. All right, girl, you stay here. We got ourselves what we need. Can I help you, friend? Yeah. Hello. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Don't got money to go dealing with you boys. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. <laughs> well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's left-handed. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. 
I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me, but they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. <laughs> All right, so we have a loan. We gotta pay each week. We got $40 in our pocket. Well, it is you. Well, I never, I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> huh. I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Uncle. You gonna mount up or what? Follow me. All right. Also gonna go ahead and have ourselves a uh, get some cigarettes. We don't got to worry about anything with our uh, our provisions because of the uh, uh, <laughs> because of tuberculosis anymore. Anyway, I'll get rid of a lot of those. Where are we headed? West. West. Oh, no, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Hey. Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. Hey, <laughs> Uncle. No more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Okay. There we go. Let's head out here. I still need a bounty to collect as well. Go ahead and Come on, girl. feed Rachel You're a little girl. bit of apple. All right. Oh. Let's go in. Brand new. Haven't even worked on it yet. Got to clear out logs, some of the old stuff. Get the land nice and cleared. Set up a barn somewhere. Can make the land work. Get a chicken coop, maybe. See, this just makes me want, like, a cowboy MMO where I can, like, set up a ranch my own. That'd be great. This is it. Look at her. 
You own it. That's the important part. You own it, John. That's that's what makes it yours. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. So how did they get to the house that was in the, f the first game? Because that's... They had a fairly nice house in the first game. I gotta get the old wagon bits and the rusted stuff out. Downed trees, all that stuff needs to be moved out of here. Probably resell some of it. Hey, epilogue part two. Beecher's Hope. How many parts are there to this epilogue? I don't know. <laughs> Am I stuck playing this game forever? Hey, okay, new fence. That's good. That was something that was needed. Probably a new sign as well. Okay. We got something to do for Uncle, but I think we should go ahead and get this. get this mission done uh some peas pop tonic all right We're gonna go around. I don't want to talk to Uncle right now. Alright. Alright, into tall trees. Wanted dead or alive. Let up. Okay, we need to find his little encampment somewhere around here. There's a cabin over there. Nope. He's got to be in this little white area. Hey, hey, easy. I think this is it. Sure, I get what I need. All right, we do have an encampment here. Dead body. Okay. Jesus. They're basically they're basically Boltons. Do a thing like this. Hello. Not here. 
Yeah, they stole everything. Except this box here. What the hell I got in the air? Nothing. Tree to tree. Yeah, we got gunshots. Come on. Oh, oh Jesus. You're gonna hang. What? You are gonna hang, sir. I'll cut you. I swear I will. Yeah, you can try. Let's see what your friends got on you. Huh? Well, my horse comes. Stealing from the Skinners. They didn't last long, did they? Hey, Rachel. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, let's see what you got on you, Mr. Green. Anything you want me to hold on to? Some chewing tobacco. All right. I got Let's it. Go. All right. Let's go. Let's get you up. I'm gonna bite you. You better damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. Oh! I'd yeah. love to see you try. There you go. Now, let's get you to Blackwater. I don't want none of your friends joining us either, so I got a... I got a rifle just for them. Willing to use it too. How you feeling up there? It ain't a smart man. Turns his back on me. Do give it a rest. Yep. If I have to, I will kill you. I still can. You got a wife somewhere? Okay. You smell like you got a lake. Get a wife of your own in prison. Oh, he ain't gonna rot in prison, John. He's gonna hang. They were skinned folk. Skinned you people. Felt pain, mister? Real pain? Uh, you're the one tied to the back of a horse. Now hush. All right. Getting you. Yep. With a few bruises. Yeah, I ain't gonna kill you. I'm gonna make sure you s you're there for every second. There. So 
Good girl. You're doing well. All right. Okay. You should, sir. Made it, girl. All right, sir. Up you get. <clears throat> Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you. Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is I live and breathe. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. All right. <sighs> what do you got for me, Sheriff? That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean that, do you? It's only fair. You come back soon, you'll find another poster on that wall. This fledgling community needs your kind. Right. They'll come for me. The Skinners ain't afraid of your jackass in your back. Well, okay. Keep this up, Green. Alright. Now we got that done. It's an extra 90 bucks. So let's head to uh Ain't worth the trouble. Let's head up to our our ranch. Slow down! Slow down. Still looking for Gavin. It's been years, man. He abandoned you. Just get over it. Enjoy your vacation. yourself into Jesus force to bring him into town by the looks of it out of the damn way don't like we're so close to tall trees where Skinner territory is Talk to Uncle. At least we got things set up around here. <clears throat> we need a new house. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. 
You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles, Saint Denis? Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. So we're going to Saint Denis. I don't have money to pay for the train ticket. I gotta make loan payments, damn it. Get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Yeah. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? All right. Doesn't look too different. Sandy seems to be operating the same way it was before. All right. Oh wait. Yeah, our horse follows the train everywhere. Hey, there you are, Rachel. It's a good girl. Look out. Alright. Okay. By the way, I just wanted to double check. Okay, uh, still not a lot. I could go ahead and talk to the fence try and sell what we got as well I think this is the way to get in Hi there. San Diego always had the worst storms other than that uh, up the Roanoke Ridge. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. A lot. No problem. Let's sell what we got, by the way, just so we can. Platinum band, grave buckle, Penelope's. Bracelet. I think they might be starting soon. Yeah. Silver chain bracelet. I think that's everything. Our silver clasp. Pocket watch, gold pocket watch. I would head along that way. Slice that your in. Alright, there we go. Just had to make that. Just had to sell all that. Because we got a bit of extra cash on us. Best mine. Here you are, girl. Let's go help out. Charles. I liked him too. It really sucked. Sadie and Sadie and Charles weren't there with Arthur at the end, because they would have they would have been on their side. I guarantee it. They would have been behind Arthur and uh, and John at the end. Alright. Yes, that So we're okay, so we gotta go around. Okay, I got it. I 
just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. A surprise. <laughs> But not one of life's great mysteries. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. Hey, Charles. <gasps> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So? Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Please bet on Charles. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapon, Come on, Charles. No forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on, Charles. Come on! Yeah! Yeah, knock him out! Yeah! Yeah, good dodge! Come on! Knock him out! He's on the ground, keep punching him! Yeah! Yeah! Come on, Lone Wolf! Gotta get you the hell out of here! Hey! Lone Wolf! Wolf! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. Alright. We just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. All right. Hey, right, there we go. Forty bucks. This Forty way. bucks. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out, gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I oh, had to good. run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. <laughs> he was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Yeah. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. Yeah. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Yeah. Or, since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some mm. folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. Yeah. I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Before we killed him. Been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> All right. You couldn't have thrown that fight! Evidently! Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Right. Come on, John. I'll drive. All right. Hey Let's go. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. I don't want to have to kill. I don't want to have to kill police officers. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa Anita ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. <laughs> Look both ways, know? damn it. Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, they won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. All you right. see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> all right. Do we steal this wagon? Well, that's it's good. We got met, we met Charles again. I like Charles. We got Uncle. I he's okay. We know Sadie's alive. All right. Now craft items at the main camp. That's good. Can I change my clothing? There we go. All right, John. Gunslinger, summer, winter. Western cowboy, the cowboy, cowhand, homesteader, the rancher. 
custom outfit. All right. Let's see. We got Arthur's gambling hat. Stalker cap. Orn felt. Orn gambler. Do John's classic. Because I don't think we've got... Got some stolen hats. Coat. Do Rambler coat. We did that. Actually, no, is there new ones that we... Saying we got a new coat. A uh, western coat, okay. Gunslinger jacket, western coat. Montana coat, winter shotgun, wolf frack. I like the Rambler, it's clean. Ebony Outdoorsman, Wrangler, Buckskin, Legion. Thompson Vest. Got Thompson Vest. Black. It's nice. Shirt. Uh, collar over shirt. good pants wise everyday pants suspenders we got the fine leathers so we'll take the fine leather don't wear chaps boots wise we got the deluxe relentless I like the shiny ones. Uh, spurs. Get those. No mask. Bandana. No bandanas. No bandanas. Neckwear. It's gotta look nice. That blue looks good with that black. Glove wise, range gloves, riding gloves, cavalry. Okay, I like those gloves. Weapon equipment, gun belt, survivalist, Arthur's pistol, weathered pistol, upgraded pistol, John's pistol belt. Survivalist, primary holster, explorer, John's holster, weathered, take the explorer's holster offhand, John's offhand, take the sharpshooter uh, bandolier. Since we have, oh, there we go. Yeah, we got our legendary beaver gloves we're going to keep. And uh going to have Arthur's satchel. I like the look of that. And no talismans. I think this looks nice. Do we have a uh, shaving uh, station somewhere so John can... Actually, shave a bit. I don't see it. Oh well. 
Okay, well, looking at the time, I think that's going to be the end of this episode, because uh, we, uh, we're we a little over for this one. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to, please leave a comment down below. Just hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, just hit the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.